Well, let's talk a bit more about what is happening. Dave Keating joins me live now from Brussels. Dave, what reaction is there this hour at the European level to the shooting of Robert Fietze? Yeah, we've had reaction pouring in from EU leaders, and that is a reaction of pure shock. Uh, so we've had a, a statement from European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, who called this a vile act in an attack on democracy. We also had a statement from European Council President Charles Michel, who said he was shocked uh, and that there could be no excuse for this type of political violence. We've also had statements from opposition figures in Slovakia, people who are normally foes of the populist leader Robert Feitzo, who is uh, normally uh, not very friendly toward the European Union. We've had leaders here quite rattled by this. I have to say Brussels over the past hour has become quite shaken by this. This is the first time, at least since I've been here, that there has been a serious assassination attempt on a European Union prime minister. So everyone's just waiting for news now on his condition. But of course, as we just heard, uh, if it is true, as is being reported, that the, he has sustained wounds in his head, uh, there is a lot of concern about what comes next here. Right, absolutely. While we wait, though, for that information to come in as to his health status, Dave, give us a little of the of the context um, for Slovakia. Walk us back to September, the election win, and what that meant for the European Union. Yeah, Robert Feitz has been in power for Slovakia for a very long time, but essentially there was old Feitzo and now there's new Feitzo. So when he returned to Bauer in September, he returned as a very changed person. Uh, he is a close ally of uh, far-right Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, even though Feitzo is actually from the left. He is still a member of the center-left group in the European Parliament, but he has kind of rebranded himself as an anti-EU populist and as an ally of Russia, a defender of Russia, uh, someone who, like Viktor Orban, has been opposing EU aid to Ukraine saying that Ukraine needs to essentially surrender to Russia uh, in order uh, to bring the war to an end. Interestingly, we've had all this controversy over the uh, anti-foreign agents law in Georgia that's just been passed by the Georgian parliament that's perceived as a pro-Russian law that's going to pull Georgia away from the EU orbit and toward the Russian orbit. Well, Robert Feitzer was going to introduce the same law in Slovakia that was hugely controversial. So this is a law saying that anyone who gets foreign funding has to re register as a foreign agent. And it's seen as something uh, that Russia is making these Russia-friendly countries do. We don't know if that plan had anything to do with this assassination attempt. Uh, but certainly that's the context that all of this is happening in. He is seen as a pro-Russian anti-EU leader, uh, and certainly here in Brussels, he is seen as a kind of sidekick of Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Dave Keating, live for us there in Brussels as we continue to digest that news that the Slovakian Prime Minister Robert Fico is, we're told, in a life-threatening condition today after being shot several times when he was on a trip to the town of Handlover. More on that as soon as we get it.